have loading up with seed potatoes this morning. We are just about to start, uh, excuse me, another field. He's parked in the way, he's on the phone. Oh. Come on, Dad, move out of the way. I'm busy. <laughs> Just loading the lorry up now with, uh, with the seed potatoes. And he's put some fuel in this T6 on the power harrow. Get Mum going. This field is not going to be as black and as sooty and as nice as the first field we did, so we might have to be going a bit slower. But that doesn't matter. That doesn't matter. Here's the concrete in we did the other day. Dad took the uh, the shuttering off Saturday morning, I think, um, and then we put this little indent in here. Put two bits of wood in uh, in there, and then put little. Uh, grooves in there of wood and then pulled it out because when we put a new tin on the cladding on this side uh, we can sit that into the concrete and then cement round it so then it gets the profile of the of the new tin um, but yeah it's gone off nice <laughs> it'd be it'd be two weeks before we can actually like run on it with a telehandler or a little forklift or anything um, and then we've got a cladding coming for the back and obviously a new roof as well because that's all rusted uh, and there's a couple of holes in it as well um, so yeah we started out as, as um, we'll just do the floor and clad the fronts turn into a whole sort of shed refurb but in the long run it would be better off and it will look nice for the yard and keep the yard all tidy so this is the um, cement that's got the fibres in it I don't know whether you can see any let's have a look there's a couple here, so these little fibres come in the cement, all mixed up, and uh, you don't have to put any mesh down um, in the bottom. So it's meant to be good. It, it actually, it is cheaper to have this more expensive cement. I think it works out 150 some odd uh, pound a, a cubic meter than it is to buy the mesh. Um, and then just have regular concrete poured into it um, so and then also we've drilled into here put rebar in here so it's tied it all in done a proper job we've done a fair share of concrete in so as we keep going we know what the crack is here we are then just doing a couple of rounds and then we can get started with the uh, the basilier and the t6 180 um, yeah, I mean, I'm in Crete box, which means I've got a little snail there, look. I have to put my foot on the brake, foot on the clutch, in neutral, and then we've got Crete box on this tractor just down there, which means you can creep along as uh, uh, 0.2 mile an hour, I think, uh, if you really wanted to. Uh, that's the beauty of Crete box. I wanted to, in the low, low range, in, in the normal gearbox, in gear one, I can only go 1.2 mile an hour, uh, which weren't really slow enough in certain places of the field. Uh, this bit, we had that dike done out and then we had a lot of slub on here. And then we, plot, we uh, rotivated it, no, power harrowed it and then um, ploughed it in. So this side of the field is not as good as what like, just there where we didn't have no slub on it. You have to excuse me. I've got a terrible cough. Um, yeah, don't sound the best, but I'm alright. So we marked a few beds out. I've uh, done my AB line down the dike, um, down the side of the dike, and uh, marked that out. Just waiting for Mum to get head with the power harrow a bit, so I could draw some more rows out. And Basilier, Basilier sits there. Dad's literally just started setting. But I thought we'd take a look at the seed while we're here. She's just, she's chitted a bit more than what we'd like. Obviously we're, we're a few days or probably a week later than what we was last year setting. Uh, but we don't normally like to 
get this amount of chits on them. We only just want to see them just iron up and then we get them in the floor. But it's a different year, different season. What can you do? with you this field's coming down better than what me and dad thought as well um, it's actually coming down very nice oh, i thought we'd have to be in creek box in certain places or for the whole field really but it might only be just over there where there's a bit the field sort of goes up an old riverbed um, other than that it is coming down nice you can see the rows, there's no clods in there. Uh, Mum's as deep as she can go with the power harrow, and I'm pretty much as deep as I can go with the, uh, the basilier that I've got on the back. And uh, yeah, we're planting them deep. I know somebody was on about the frost. Um, well, these would be a month before they come through anyway. They're not going to get damaged by the frost being in the floor. The ground will protect them. It's only when they just start to come through you've got to worry about it. But then Dad will go through with the uh, with the ridger if there's going to be a frost when they're just poking through and just cover them back up again. some in it I'll use that up. heavy. then check this out i've managed to get some drone footage while using this machine uh i got a little bit of mum on the power hour and a little bit of dad on the setter um yeah 
I was looking in seven different places at once trying to fly the drone, but just for you, just for you, have a look.
jumped on the power hour this morning just to get ahead of the game. It is six minutes past seven. Me and Spud do a bit of power hourin. Bye guys. Ooh, what's that? Like and subscribe. So, like I said, just jumped on here to get ahead of the Basileer, of me doing a bit of Basileering, and yeah, just to generally just get ahead of the game. But it's on about March, get some rain Thursday, Friday. So, I want to get this field done, get the headlands all power harrowed, all neat and tidy. Jobs are good. I think it was Leighton Phillips in the comments that said, or can we put a, uh, a newer tractor on, on the planter, which is just just there. We've got a 6640 on it, because it's the only tractor that will fit on it. Uh, I think the planter cost Dad something like 300 quid. Um, and uh, the way the, 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 the top link goes on, all the newer tractors are too, too big for it. Plus it'll look a bit silly on it. 130, 140 horsepower tractor, but that's the 6640's job. Plants the potatoes now. They used to run them out, but they don't anymore. That plants the potatoes, might do a bit of flailing with it. Uh, sits on the generator. Other than that, she don't do a great. What, what are you doing? Once you start digging more mat up, Oi. you bugger. afternoon we're getting across this field we're getting up to the worst bit where there's a little bit of a ridge in the field the riverbed um, but no we've uh, got on quite well it's just a bit more cloddy at this end of the field but as you can see we're doing a fairly good job I like to think so anyway Anyway, the T6 180, the one the tractor that I'm sitting in right now, we've hit 110 hours. So, and Dad's done most of them to be fair. This is the first time I've used it in field work. And I can say that this dynamic command gearbox fantastic if you're ever looking at getting uh, a new Holland aim for the dynamic command it's very good very easy just knock it forward to go fit faster knock it back to go a bit slower uh, yeah real good so these these beds that I make uh, obviously I'll go down there and go down there and miss this middle one uh, so I do every other one with it all folded out and then this middle one with a GPS sometimes it don't like it so I draw this middle one out myself uh, just following the GPS obviously you just got to sit here you hardly have to steer because your wheels are already in the ruts that you've made but I just like to fold it up so it's out of the way and then I sometimes ridge it up a bit more so I've got this lowered down so sometimes I just lower that down and, and just ridge it up a bit more as well
back. I've uh, got the trailer load of fertiliser, going to load that back up with fur. Dad's going to load the seat trailer back up. And uh, yeah, I think we'll call it for this video. So thank you very much for watching. Hit the subscribe button. Gives you notifications on when the video is up. Hit the like button. And we'll see you for the next one. See you later. Ciao.